Well, my favorite way to eat an apple is to have a raw apple. I like them that way best. <laughs> a great apple crisp is my favorite. There's nothing like just walking through the orchard and taking an apple off the tree and just eating it right then and there. Apple pie, apple crisp, uh, those are my favorites. I try to have an apple a day and I usually eat them like this, but I won't say no to a warm slice of apple pie. We think every season is pie season. Andrea Tabor knows a thing or two about pie. I was blessed with a stay-at-home mom who taught me everything domestic. She could do anything. I didn't even know they were boxed cakes until I was in high school because she did everything from scratch. And I learned that that was the best way to do it because everything tasted really good. So as soon as I was old enough to reach the counter, she had me with a rolling pin and she was teaching me how to make pie. And that was sort of a staple in our house. 25 years ago, Tabor left her job as a nurse and began Ever So Humble Pie Company and Walpole. We started with just pie and I quickly learned people don't need as much pie as we need them to need year round. So now we've got ready to eat scones, frozen things, cream pies, which you just saw and serve, pies you have to bake, and dinner pies. All of the pies at Ever So Humble are frozen and meant to bake at home. Great in theory, but Tabor says there was a lot of trial and error to get the perfect apple pie. When you just peel sliced apples in a pie like that, you get a lot of air pockets because the pieces don't fit, which is great because that steam that's created helps the apples cook. But when they do that, they collapse. What we do now is we have the apples sliced and we get diced apples and we cook them together, pre-cook them just briefly to get them to relax a little. And what it does when it freezes is it waits until the pie is warm enough to start activating so that it's just enough to keep the pie from being watery, but you still have a nice juicy pie. All of that hard work has paid off for Tabor. I got a text from my cousin last August saying congratulations on being the best pie company in Massachusetts. I know she's had my pies and I says, well, thank you. Is that?" your opinion or do you know something I don't know? And she said, it's all over the radio. It's on the internet. You, you were awarded this by 24 seven Wall Street. I had to go digging and look, they never told us. It was just this thing that happened. While Tabor loves making pies and crisps, her favorite way to enjoy an apple? Right off the tree, shine it up on your shirt and take a big juicy bite. And Andrea and her ever so humble pie company celebrating 25 years in business. Congrats to them. And if you're in the mood for apple picking or shopping, check out the WCVB website. We have a map of apple orchards across Massachusetts. And I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Apple pie, cobbler, crisps, what's mm, your go-to? Crisp pie. I actually just cut my finger on a spiral slicer <laughs> making an apple pie. So it can be dangerous. Be careful if you're making pie. <laughs> I'm a crisper. All right, that's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.